Hello viewers, let's continue our review down through these Excel options. And as you can see, we have left the, the formula settings. So we just we, we can now just use the down arrow to, to nav navigate through to the different the different section that we have you can navigate to the different sections that you have some of you may be having a section of a section called data data section now in that data section you will see that there are two things to to check off by default or you just you will find that there are two things that you need to that are checked off by default in Microsoft Excel and we are really not suggesting any changes to those defaults but maybe you can you can try to review other things that are on that same section but here we don't have it we have proofing we have proofing and the next one we have save language accessibility then advanced setting as you can see them so so let's go over to to this section we can come we can use the up and down arrows to navigate through this left hand side of the Excel settings or Excel options, we go to proofing. So we've now reached the proofing section. Now this section here is really about spell check. In other words, checking spellings. And there are a number of things that we want, we want Microsoft to ignore. For instance, words with uppercase or words containing numbers these are some of the things that we want microsoft excel to ignore like words that are beginning with uppercase ignore words that contain numbers ignore internet and file addresses flag repeated words so some of the things we just really want to just leave them the way they are so the 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 last thing to discuss in this section is down here the last thing to discuss in this section is down here the 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 dictionary language because some of the things they are just about spell check so we're just going to look at other other sections that we need to focus on the, the, there is a save that one is okay language for 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 this proofing what we basically want to focus on is this dictionary language the one you are seeing down here this is the last part that we want to talk to under the proofing section of, of the excel setting so we are saying here we have it said english uganda but if you want to change this you can actually come to this down arrow and you try to change whatever country you're in it may be english maybe united states united kingdom wherever you are you can actually change this dictionary language so that's where you are free to set it whichever whichever way you like so let's now go and leave this proofing section alone we go to the save we go to save section of the excel settings the save section we have we need to take a look at some of, of these options. So the main thing here 
in this save option is read the auto recovery the auto recovery the, that auto recovery and we need also to know how often it is doing an auto auto recovery by default it is set to to 10 minutes you are seeing keep the last auto recovered version then they save the auto recover information every 10 minutes that's by default and we are going to leave that default there so we are not going to change these 10 minutes but if you want to increase the frequency of the auto recovery you could set this down say maybe to five minutes you can actually come here and say you reduce maybe to five minutes but i'm just going to leave it at default but you can change it to 10 minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes for example so the other thing to note here are the file locations the file locations because we have the auto recover file location we have the default local file location so the file locations they are also key to note under this save option of the excel settings so we could change the auto recovery auto recover file location here and this is what we could change you could change this the location we can also change this the default local local file location we can actually go ahead and change those within this area here but we are going to leave these as they are we, we are not going to change anything so let's go over now and click on the language section because i'm just picking out the things that are actually very important but just you know there are so many things that we are not talking about they are here there are so many but i'm just only picking out those that are going to help you by increasing your efficiency and speed so let's go over and click on the language section or oh, we can use the navigation the navigation arrows we got the language section so as you see that is the language section but now what you are seeing here from the office display language we have set the language here to match microsoft word window english microsoft windows english that's what we are setting as our preferred and down below we have selected here down below here office authorizing language and proofing we have selected english uganda that's our preferred but you could see we have different options you can change to english united states so we, you, we have options to actually even come here and add languages so there we are saying you are free to actually set the way you want it but i'm just going to leave the way it is because i just want to use that same language that you are seeing down there so let's head over here and now look at the accessibility section so when you go to the accessibility section you can use the down arrow to navigate to our accessibility section of the excel settings so now we are in the we are in that accessibility section so there here in this section there are just two things to note in here number one you can provide feedback with a sound it is here 
you can provide feedback with the sound or you can provide feedback with an animation these are the feedback options but now you are seeing for us we actually it's by default it is providing feedback with animation and we are also going to maintain that in other words we are disabling the we are disabling the provide feedback with the with the, with, with 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 sound we are disabling that so and down here application display options we have we can see there are different options that we have but we don't want we don't want the start screen to show when the application starts that is what we don't want to show to show to show on our on our screen so we are going to disable this so that when we turn off we turn on excel we can just go straight into the spreadsheet so we can come here and disable this we've removed that option but at at at, 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 at the end of the day even if you just leave it there what that only means is that it's going to show you when the application starts but as a matter of fact we are just looking at ways we can actually save time so that's why we are removing some of those settings we are disabling some of the of, of these settings to help us not to waste any time that's the reason as why we are we are forcing ourselves to do some of these these options that you are you are seeing but some of them they don't actually have so much impact even if we just leave them like the way they are but our aim is to actually save save time increase on our speed and at the end of the day we we'll be efficient on what we are doing so since we have disabled that then we can we can now try to look at the advanced the this advanced section this advanced because we have we have advanced here that section these remaining sections we are just going to look at them one by one because they are a little bit many we can't mix them within this same video because it will be too long for us so having seen those different other sections of the excel settings then we're now going to look at the another video that's going to start from the advanced we see what is there so we have been able to go through our preferred options for many sections including the proofing save languages and accessibility in the next video we are going to we are going to go into and we are going to go in and look at some of the advanced settings so we we'll see you in the next video